I am glad to see you changed for the better. Yeah, troublemaking is getting stale nowadays. My adoptive brother Dylan doesn't seem to think that. But even if he is a troublemaker by his own accord, he's my brother and I love him to the stars and back no matter what. Well I am glad to know that at least someone acknowledges that troublemakers bleed the same blood as us. It's a shame that the same can't be said for your former parents. Actually, I would rather not talk about that. Sorry. Anyways, my life has been so much better ever since I was adopted by Dylan's mom. She is so nice. It's like she is an angel without any strings. I'm glad to hear that you now have a mother which treats you with respect. And ever since I became an arm troublemaker, I have been searching for more productive hobbies instead of causing trouble. For instance, Curtis Stryker got me a job working at construction sites. You can't get any more productive than that. Oh look, some poor sucker riding a horse on the road. But I'm not going to slow down, no. I'm going to drive right past him with maximum speed and honk my horn as loud as it will go. It will be so funny to see that guy get launched into the air. Ha 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 Ludicrous speed! Go! So now that you are a non-troublemaker, what do you plan to do with your life? I don't know exactly Holden. But one thing's for sure, I'm going to live it to the fullest. <laughs> Are you okay Lamar? Yeah I'm fine. Thankfully I didn't land too hard. Man, what an inconsiderate jerk that driver was. I know right? You are supposed to pass a horse slowly, not speed past it like a rocket and honk your horn like a moron. But sitting here complaining about it isn't going to solve anything. Right now we need to catch that horse before it injures someone. Super mode, engage. Wow, you have a super form? That is amazing. Pretty cool, huh? But enough chit chat. Right now, I have a horse to catch. And after that I will catch that inconsiderate jerk who thought it was a good idea to ruin my day. See you in a bit. Be careful out there, Lamar. All right, horsey, where are you running off to? There we are. Gotcha. Alright, I will take you back to the stables, and then I will go and deal with that inconsiderate jerk that startled you. <laughs> oh my god, that was so hilarious. I love the way the horse freed up and flung the man off. And the icing on the cake. The horse is on a belt and is probably trampling people wherever he goes. Life is no fair Varric Assault. You are going nowhere until the police arrive. Quan Chi, I'm arresting you for animal cruelty and putting someone's life in danger. You do not need to say anything. But it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say will be given in evidence. <laughs> and stop screaming like a little girl. Now let's take you to your favorite place. You must really love going to prison. <laughs> I'm really sorry that this had to happen to you. It's quite alright. I'm just glad that the horse didn't get run over. But look at the bright side, the selfish man who spooked the horse is on his way to prison, and the chances are the horse has probably calmed down by now. Would you like to go for another ride? That sounds like a great idea, but this time, would it be okay if we stuck to the fields? That way then, we won't have to worry about any cars driving past us. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Quan Chi, have you got loose wiring in your brain or something? We cannot believe you had the audacity to spook that horse whilst someone was riding it. In fact, you shouldn't spook horses at all as it is animal cruelty, but the fact that someone was riding it made things much worse. 
you are very lucky you did not injure or kill the man writing it because it would have meant an even bigger sentence. And you are also lucky that the horse didn't trample anyone while it was bolting because if it had done, the blood would have been on your hands. But we now have to pay a huge fine which costs more than our house in the nether realm. You do realize that if we keep having to pay fines like this, we will eventually end up living on the street in cardboard boxes and it will all be your fault. That's it. You are grounded until the chilling adventures of Sabrina returns. And while you are grounded, you will be eating nothing but lumpy potatoes on maggots for every meal. Sleep on the floor right now. You spoiled white wizard. Wow. That spoiled white sorcerer never learned does he? And as long as you do the opposite of what Quan Chi would do, you will find that you will live a very successful life. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, comment like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. This is Callum Rockley signing off.